There is another method of accounting for depreciation. This method is more commonly used. Under this method, depreciation account debit to provision for depreciation account. We create an account called provision for depreciation account or sometimes it is called accumulated depreciation account. We do not credit the asset account. Instead, a separate account called provision for depreciation is created. The asset continues to be maintained at the cost at which it was purchased. In this way, we get an idea of the original cost of the asset whenever we look at the balance sheet. And depreciation account debit to provision for depreciation and this depreciation is transferred to profit and loss account, profit and loss account debit to depreciation. What happens in case of sale of an asset? When an asset is sold, we normally create an asset disposal account. To this asset disposal account, we transfer whatever balance of asset we have in our books, whatever balance of provision for depreciation we have with respect to this asset, we transfer to the asset disposal account. So in order to transfer the asset account, we credit the asset account, debit asset disposal account. Asset disposal account debit to asset account. So transfer asset account to asset disposal account. Similarly, transfer the provision for depreciation account. The provision for depreciation account always has a credit balance. So debit the provision for depreciation account and close it, credit asset disposal account. As a result, the asset disposal now has a value which is the book value of the asset. If an asset was purchased for 50,000 and we have charged depreciation of 20,000, then the asset account will continue to be shown at 50,000 because there is no change. But we will have a provision for depreciation account of 20,000. In the asset disposal account, we would have transferred the balance of the asset account 50,000 and we would have also transferred the balance of provision for depreciation amount of 20,000. So this 30,000 is nothing but the written down value of the asset. On sale of the asset, we pass an entry saying bank account debit to asset disposal account. Bank account debit to asset disposal account. Suppose this asset is sold for 28,000, we would say buy bank 28,000. Therefore, we would suffer a loss of 2,000 and this loss would be transferred to the profit and loss account. This is how the accounting entries are passed. So in case of loss of sale of asset, profit and loss account debit to asset disposal account. On the other hand, if there is a profit, the entry would be asset disposal account debit to profit and loss account. Therefore, the only difference in the scheme of entries for recording depreciation is that depreciation account is debited but the credit goes to the provision for depreciation account and not the asset account. As a result, the asset always continues to be shown at the original cost. But we have another account with a credit balance provision for depreciation. Therefore, in the balance sheet, asset is shown at the original cost, less provision amount telling us the book value. We shall understand this with an example. It's, this is the same example where machinery is 50,000, scrap value is 5,000 and estimated life is 5 years. Assuming that the asset is again sold for 25,000 in the middle of the year 3, prepare provision for depreciation account, asset account and asset disposal account for the 3 years. Now what is the asset? Machinery as asset account continues throughout to be shown at 50,000 and only when it is sold, sorry, 
continues to be shown at 50,000 and only when it is sold, it is transferred to the asset disposal account. So machinery account debit to bank 50,000, balance carried down 50,000, the balance brought down 50,000, again end of year 2, balance carried down 50,000, year 3 beginning, we carry forward, bring forward a balance of 50,000 and then transfer it to the asset disposal account. So machinery throughout has continued to be shown at 50,000. Look at the provision for depreciation account. The provision for depreciation account at the end of year 1 by depreciation 9,000. What was the entry? Entry is depreciation account debit to provision for depreciation account. So provision for depreciation account is credited. Therefore, there is a balance of 9,000 carried forward. So, year 1 end, we have 50,000 machinery and we have 9,000 provision for depreciation. Therefore, in the balance sheet, it is shown as machinery 50,000, depreciation 9,000, less provision for depreciation 9,000 with a written down value of 41,000. It is the same as the first method, the net effect. However, asset continues to be shown at 50,000. Instead, the credit goes to a provision for depreciation account. Year 2, there is a balance of 9,000. We charge depreciation again for 9,000 so that now the closing balance is 18,000, which is brought forward in the beginning of year 3. In the middle of year 3, the asset is sold. Therefore, depreciation for the middle up to the mid, middle of year 3 needs to be charged. By depreciation, the amount is 4,500. Therefore, we have a total accumulated depreciation of 22,500, which is then transferred to the machinery disposal account. Machinery disposal account, 50,000 transferred from the asset, 22,500 transferred from the machinery disposal account. 27,500 is therefore the written down value. We sell the machine for 25,000 profit and loss, 2,500 balance and figure. This is how accounts are prepared when we sell on disposal of a machinery, on disposal of an asset while using the provision for depreciation account. Extract of the balance sheet would be like this where asset is 50,000, asset has a debit balance of 50,000 and provision for depreciation has a credit balance of 15,000. Suppose provision for depreciation is 15,000. In the balance sheet, it is displayed as asset 50, less provision for depreciation 15,000, giving us a balance of 35,000 being the book value, written down value. Therefore, these are the two methods of accounting for depreciation. Either depreciation account debit to asset account or depreciation account debit to provision for depreciation account.